Should we dive into that now? Why not? So there are some fundamental computer science reasons why software fails. The Turing proof essentially tells us that we can't be sure we found every bug. Or as Dijkstra blithely said in 1969, we can prove software has bugs, but we can't prove it doesn't. And there we are. And, and so I, I like to say, and it's a bit, of a, a bit of a joke, if it's software, it must be broken. Or you can say the other way around, if it has bugs, it must be software. And while that's a little bit too glib, basically software will fail because the tools we use are software and are subject to this, this problem. And at the same time, they cannot mathematically find every issue. There are some formal methods that will, that will account for this. They're very expensive. So I, I don't want to discount that, but mostly we don't use them because we can't. And in the meantime, you have to have really good financial reasons to use formal methods or a formal method language like Daphne to specify things so that, you know, you can, it's self-proving and, and, and various ways, but will you get every case? No.